Hi guys! Just thought I'd share my list with you on what I'm packing for college and some suggestions on stuff you might have forgotten. Um, first of all, a couple things to consider. What type of room you have. Mine is an apartment style which is attached to a kitchen and living room. So there's some kitchen stuff that I might be bringing that might not be on your list. And there's some stuff that you might have that's not necessarily on my list either depending on what facilities are available to you. Um, also be realistic with what you're bringing. Don't bring stuff that you aren't going to use. For example, don't bring 100 books if you have only read one book outside of school in the past year. Um, third of all, do your research on what kind of stuff that you are supplied with and what kind of things you aren't allowed to bring. For example, sometimes they let you rent fridges or there's laundry facilities that you need to pay for and your room might include a lamp or a garbage bin or something, so find out what your room's going to be like and what else is in your building. So my entire list is in the bottom bar, but I'm just going to talk about a couple things and either why you should bring them or a couple things you might have forgotten or not have thought of. And also if you have a roommate or apartment mates like I do, you can also think of things that are easy to share because realistically you don't need two or three of everything. Okay, so the first thing is Sharpie markers. I always need sharpie markers for something. I always find myself asking people if they have one just to label something or to color something or draw on something or I don't know. I always need sharpie markers. So go and get yourself a big pack of sharpies. There's a lot of things that are sold at your campus bookstore that you don't necessarily need to bring with you or have stocked up on for the whole year like pens and pencils and notepaper etc. Um, they also have like school lanyards and whiteboard calendars and stuff that you can buy there. So you don't need to bring all of those things with you. It's also good to bring some envelopes and stamps for sending letters to family and friends during the year. Um, also any of your old notes from high school that relate to the courses that you're taking. For example, if you took senior year biology and you're taking a class in biology, um, in your first term, those notes might come handy when you need to review some high school topics. Oh, don't bring a lot of t-shirts, like event shirts and team shirts, um, because you're going to get a bunch of them anyways, like you'll get some from orientation or from different teams or clubs or buying them from the bookstore just to support your school. You're going to get lots more t-shirts and stuff, so you don't need to bring all the ones that you own. Bring a couple, obviously, but that's something that you can pack lightly on. In terms of clothing, make sure that you bring a dress or a skirt or something formal because there's a lot of formal events held at universities and colleges over the year, like a winter formal or something for your residents. Or, I don't know, you're going to find a reason that you're going to need a dress. So it might not be the first thing you think of packing, but don't forget it. It's good to have something dressy too, or something that you can wear to an interview, or at least some kind of formal outfit, like this blazer jacket. It just really dresses it up, and you will have the odd opportunity where you want to look professional, or you want to get dressed up. So make sure that you bring at least one outfit that you could wear to an interview. Another thing that I'm bringing that might not be so much on your list is sports gear. Um, that means like volleyball or basketball or softball, whatever your choice of sport is. If you want to bring a ball to toss around or if you're planning on playing in intramurals and you need to make sure you have the proper equipment and bring all that with you. Also a good idea to bring a frisbee, like my cute little pink one, because um, it's really fun past time for students, I guess, just to throw it around with your friends, so don't forget to bring that. If sports aren't really your thing, don't forget to cater to whatever your hobby is. So if that's music, don't forget to bring your instrument and all your music books. And, you know, if it's reading, go ahead and bring all your novels. And whatever your hobby is, bring all your stuff for that. <laughs> Another thing that's good to have in college is a weekend bag. Um, kind of just a purse or bag that's big enough to kind of fit all the stuff that you need for like one or two days. 
um, just clothes and like toiletries, etc. If you're staying at friends' dorm or if you're going home for the weekend, um, just nice to have a nice size bag for that. A little bit bigger than a purse, but you don't want to bring around a whole suitcase if you're just going somewhere for the weekend. So invest in one of those for sure. Another thing to think about if you're there um, up until Halloween and you're not sure if you're going to come home before that is if you have a Halloween costume right now that you used last year or the year before um, that you want to bring because not many people will have seen that one before on you. You're meeting so many new people. So it's a good idea to bring that so you don't have to buy a new one when you're there plan out on um, celebrating Halloween. And also if you're going to any themed parties during your college year, you might want to take those into consideration when you're packing your clothes. Because, for example, if you get invited to a tight and bright party and you don't have your spandex leopard print shorts, you're going to be really angry that you left those at home. So, you know, keep that in mind when you're packing as well. It's really nice to have photos of friends and family from back home, but keep it within reason. Don't plaster your entire wall with old high school photos. It's a time for new memories as well, and it's fine to have some, but don't go crazy. Um, a really cute idea that we had um, for a prom committee in high school was to give out these little photo frames as party favors, and they're really good because you can take this out, and it has multiple picture spots, so you can go through it if you want to look at it, but like you don't have to have all your pictures on display all at once. And you can also just keep it on your bedside table like this, and it switches sides so you can have two on display at once. So that's a really handy idea if you want to bring some photos but not take up too much space. A college essential is shower caddy. So I found this one at Bed Bath & Beyond, and it's really cute because it looks like this. But it also has a little mini removable one inside of it, and has special spots just for like a razor and soap and and everything and it's just really handy to carry everything you need with you and keep everything organized so invest in something like this some things you might not have thought of right away um, were like first aid and medications but make sure that you bring that they're all listed down below but like band-aids and polysporin and stuff like that you don't want to be stuck in your room with a really bad cold either, like the last thing that you want to do is go out and buy medication for it. So if you have all that already in your room, it's going to be really convenient. Um, and also like hand sanitizer, I always find myself wishing I had some, so um, get yourself a little bottle of that as well. And um, duct tape, because you always will find a use for duct tape, so get some duct tape. Okay, this applies a little bit more for people um, with the kitchen, um, but also some containers and stuff, like some microwave safe ones like this that are glass. You can just put your food in there and microwave it. It's got a nice lid on it. Got some of these at Walmart in two different sizes. I um, also found a cute little set, uh, salad container. It has a knife and fork in it and a little bin for your salad dressing and stuff. So, I don't know, things like that that you're going to use to keep your food in. Keep in mind um, when you want something quick to eat and really cheap. I got some plastic cereal bowls or whatever. Just good to have in your room if you don't feel like getting up and going all out just to get your breakfast in the morning before class. Just good to have a box of cereal in your room. Um, also like a coffee thermos like this, really like, got on like a cold morning to just put some like tea or coffee, hot chocolate in it, bring that to class, don't forget that. Also with such a small space, it's really important to stay organized, um, so a couple things for that, I got some little mini drawers um, to keep on my desk or like in cabinet or something just for like jewelry or pencils or like little things um, and then this from Ikea and it hangs off of your curtain or your um, closet rod and you can just stick like socks or underwear or like scarves and that 
so that's really good as well. A couple other good things to have would be um, some kind of bin that is good for underbed storage because there really won't be that much room inside of your room. And uh, I have this little crate here, it came with my bed set, but good for just putting your stuff in. Um, and this is good for a bedside storage compartment. Uh, you can just pull the drawers and shove anything in there. It's really important to think about storage and organizing your room because there won't be that much space. Okay, lastly, there's some stuff that you look around your room and you're like, there might be of some use for that. For example, like weird hats or something. I don't know, some theme party or like Halloween. I don't know. I feel like I'm going to use this. It's also really funny if someone just wakes up from being drunk and they're like, why am I wearing a Viking hat? Yeah, so like, I just think I'm going to use it. Like, I don't know. Random things. <coughs> Random things that you don't really know what the use is right now, but you know that there will be one. Don't take up too much of your space with these things, though, but it's important to think about them. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Um, so thanks for watching. If you guys think of anything else that I didn't mention, leave a comment or send me a message, and thanks. Bye!